be here. Uh, I'm on vacation right now in North Carolina, but um, checking out this book. Is that backwards? That's probably backwards. Son of a gun. Uh, it's called Extreme Ownership: uh, How U.S. Navy Seals Lead and Win. Pretty interesting book about uh, leadership. A little bit of combat story in it also, but uh, like most leadership books, you know, there's like maybe 15, 20 pages of good info in here. So really good for sifting through. Um, even if you just kind of look at the chapters, you can get a good sense of sort of the contents of the book. Let me see if I can find this while I'm doing all this at once. Um, eh, well, of course not. Uh, so. The one of them was about, um, let's see, I'll just kind of flip through to see. The first one is called Extreme Ownership. Basically, they're talking about the importance of the leader taking responsibility for the entire team's results and not throwing uh, the team members under the bus. Captain of the ship goes down with the ship, is in charge of the ship, takes responsibility. They call it the burden of command. Kind of interesting. Uh, that was a really good chapter. Some cool firefight stories in there, too. Then they get into um, no bad teams, just bad leaders. You know, this is all kind of like stuff we've heard before, but they're giving it a little bit of context with some war stories and seeing how it worked in the actual world. That one was a lot about uh, the actual training, the buds training that the SEALs go through, and uh, some experiments they did and found out that the leadership was really sort of the... Uh, the linchpin in making a difference of performance. Then uh, believe, obviously the person's got to believe in what they're doing. Like I said, some of this is kind of common sense. Um, let's what's next. Then we got um, the laws of combat. That one was actually pretty good. There's some stuff about prioritization and uh, deciding what to do first. That is a really useful chapter I found. Then I've got a simple, simplicity. Um, and one of the main takeaways from this was simple but not easy. Very distinct, different concepts. And, um, you know, simple meaning not complicated. That doesn't mean easy to accomplish, it just means not complicated. Uh, the more things that can go wrong, the more things will go wrong. Again, not not really new not nothing nothing we haven't heard before this is all in a lot of these books it's just kind of the same stuff regurgitated with some other stories um it's one of those decentralized command um to be honest i don't really remember so much about that chapter so maybe i'll come i'll read more up on it and maybe i'll do another video or something plan yeah obviously <laughs> like i don't even need to say anything about planning to talk about why that's important. Uh, then let's see, leading up and down the chain of command. I think that means basically um, showing your bosses uh, leading by leadership, <clears throat> not just uh, to your subordinates, but also to the people above you. <clears throat> then decisiveness and uncertainty. You know what, that's another chapter I didn't really get to look at all that closely and uh, could be kind of interesting because that is the entire business world is uncertainty and making decisions in that. But that seems to stem off of um, one of the other things that was about the uh, uh, simplicity. And um, the laws of combat and choosing, you know, what to do for prioritization. Uh, so, again, nothing real new. I think I missed a few chapters. Oh, this one's called Prioritize and Execute. Basically the same, should have just been in the same chapter as uh, Laws of uh, Combat. And there was one more, Cover and Move, uh, Plan, Down the Chain of Command. Uh, yeah, so, um, pretty interesting book if you're really into SEALs, check it out. It's Extreme Ownership. How U.S. Navy SEALs Lead and Win by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. So uh, I'll put a link to it um, in the description. So check it out if you're interested. And if you've read it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, did you find it useful or not? Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If, oop, yeah. 
thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and want to see some other book reviews about leadership and business, uh, let me know in the comments or like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. All right, thanks so much. Bye.